Clash Peppermint. This is the best overstable approach disc I've ever thrown. When we talk overstable approach discs, of course, we have to mention the zone. For me, that's a little too deep. I do not like the depth of the zone, never has. Also, it goes a little straighter than I want. So I'd like something that just dies and boasting flight numbers of 4204, they're accurate. This thing wants to get to the ground, does not want to fly. And with it being shallow, four-handers dream. If you're looking for one and you don't like the depth of something like a zone, want something a little shallower, I think this is it. Not much more to be said uh, than that. So instead, let's just show you. My use case is hole eight at Sandusky. And uh, let me just show you via the throw why I like this disc, all right? I'm gonna aim at the left tree. I'm not gonna care about the angle. Really, I'm just gonna throw a forehand, basically almost as hard as I can. And I'm just gonna be parked. Literally first take, not even warm. Well, sort of warm, here we go. Got it. It just doesn't matter. I'm parked. 
And by parked, I mean I'm inside the circle for a birdie. Thank you very much. Let's send it over to Josh. <laughs> Okay, hole 10 Sandusky. We're doing uh, Dakota's use case here. My use case is I throw it the same place Mikey throws it. I just chuck that sucker and know it's gonna get to the ground. It's amazing. Um, Dakota doesn't really use the peppermint. He doesn't really have a use case for it, but I think he should because hole 10 Sandusky, we get in a position like this to where we've got this tree kind of obstructing our way to the basket. And Dakota's choice from this position is usually to throw something understable or just straight, straight at it. And it's just, there's no need to try to finesse something that range on the approach shot when we have level ground over there. There's no reason why we can't utilize the overstability of this disc, push it out to the right side and have it pull off of there and die and hit the ground close to the basket, making the cleanup. He's a great putter, um, but making the cleanup way easier. So we've got five here, and I'm gonna set his lie here just so it's tempting enough to throw straight at it. But I'd like to see him take something instead over there to the right of the sewer grate. The beauty of this is you can be within like 20 degrees That's fair. and pull off the shot. That is fair. So, aim, yeah, aim higher towards those trees, let it. Yeah, 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 that's the idea. Yeah, died at the end. There we go. Right? Okay, so again, reasons why I would do it here is there's no need to have this in our mind when we can throw to the back wall, have it tug off of it, and it's gonna crash, it's gonna die, and the ground is level up there, right? So when we wanna control the airspace, we wanna control the flight, we use something overstable, right? If we wanna control ground play, then we have to control the angle a little bit more. Most times we wanna use something understable. So when you're looking for consistency of flight on your approach disc, this is it for me. We have them in the shop, a variety of colors for your viewing pleasure. It's raining, we're leaving, bye. <laughs> Get in the hole, wait for it. <laughs>